Yes, ma'am. Got to get something out. I would like to welcome everyone to the Town of Lexington Council meeting. This special call council meeting is being held at Town Hall Monday evening, April 29th, 2024. This meeting is being broadcast on the town's YouTube channel. I am Hazel Livingston, the mayor of the town of Lexington, and I would like to introduce my fellow council members. To my left is Mayor Pro Tem Ron Williams. Good evening. To his left is Council Member Todd Lyle. Good evening. To his left is Jenny Michaels. Good evening. To my right is Council Member Todd Carnes. Good evening. To his right is Council Member Gavin Smith. Good evening. And to his right is Council Member Will Ab Good Allen. Evening. And at this time, I'd like to ask Council Member Todd Carnes to give invocation. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Glad to. <clears throat> Father, we do uh, pause here and ask for your grace. We ask for your mercy and your goodness, your patience, and your favor. Uh, we know that we are men and women made of clay, and we're fragile, we're sinful. We are prone to wander. We're prone to look out for self, and so we ask for grace and mercy that you would fill us, make us better, give us your eyes to see what's wise and true and right, and help our town walk in it. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Then I'd like to ask Council Member Gavin Smith to lead us in the pledge. I will now call the special meeting to order. Um, we council met in executive session prior to the meeting where we discussed the following matters, legal advice regarding agenda items, contractual issues related to a fiber optic franchise agreement, discussion of negotiations incident to a proposed contractual agreement. Um, no vote was taken. Do I hear a motion to ratify this report? So moved. So moved. Council Member Lyles makes the motion. Mayor Pro Tem Williams second set. All those in favor or any discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. And it is unanimous. And our first out of business is from Assistant Town Administrator Stuart Ford regarding a 2024 budget adjustment. Madam Mayor, members of council, uh, on behalf of town staff, the administrator, department directors, come before you tonight with a proposal for a budget adjustment for fiscal year 2024. <clears throat> this budget adjustment is different than some. This has come out of our whole process of preparing the budget. We've identified items that are council priorities, number one, things that require longer lead times, and things that are critical operating needs right now. And we're proposing that we allocate money from this year's contingency funds to these items so that we can go ahead and implement a number of programmatic things that you all have said are important, as well as um, these priority items. Um, for the administration department, the funds are requested for transparency and FOI technology and compliance nearly $39,000. The police, we've identified capital items that we can receive by the end of the fiscal year, totaling 63,751. For planning, building, and technology, the total is 107,510. That includes funds for a generator that was original with this building that parts are no longer available for. So we're being proactive we do, don't want to have a situation where this building is down for an extended period of time. Parks Capital, again, we are um, focusing on items that are um, important, can be used immediately, and also will be used in our expansion of the park system that's currently under, underway. That's 120453 And then in the Transportation Department, Council has indicated a need and a desire to see a study done of parking in downtown, a formal study. And so we're proposing to get that started. 
and a budget of $25,000. These costs are split between the general fund and the utilities fund, so I ask you to um, make a motion to adopt for first reading an amendment to the 2024 budget allocating contingency funds. Do I have a, here a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Mayor Pro Tem makes the motion. Councilmember Lyle seconds it. Any discussion? I will say that one of the things we hear a lot about is parking downtown in different areas for handicap and other things and just needs for it. So uh, I'm looking forward to analysis being done on that downtown. I do have a question about that. Where, where was this um, amount found? Is there a certain company that you have looked into or how is that going to be done? I consulted specifically with Randy Edwards who knows the industry and has worked on similar type um, scope projects. And the, the figure is in that ballpark. Of course, it will have to be, we'll get proposals from folks and then negotiate um, the best deal we can for the So family. it could be less than that? It could okay. be. Okay. Any Sorry, other questions? I'd just like to say I'm excited that we're finally paving Coley Street Park. I've asked for that for several years. And I look forward to us to finish Virginia Hilton so that we can move on to Coley Street. Finally give that park some love. Anything else? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your right hand. And it is unanimous. Do we have any questions from the news media on this subject? Any questions from the public? Questions from council? We did announce this meeting tonight, right? No, we just... <laughs> okay. There's a few people that normally sit over there that I'm not <laughs> sure where they are. Is there any questions from staff on this besides move forward and let's get it on the agenda for the 6th? <laughs> that concludes our special call council meeting. We will pause for about one minute for recording purposes and then go right into the special call work session without adjourn from this meeting. <laughs>